Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. This is Ryan. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Tuesday, October 20th, 5.32 a.m. And uh, just wanted to check in on you. <laughs> check in on you, see how you guys were doing. And uh, as you can see by the title of this video, i also talk about something that, uh, well, that I get questions on quite a bit. Uh, first of all, as you can see here, I have my, my new Halloween outfit on. Uh, before, we were like the... The zombie with the green skin and the scars and stuff like that, but I was given the skeleton costume by I, I think it was Sherb and so I decided to go ahead and try it on. I really liked it And so this is gonna be kind of the uh, kind of the look we're going for um, and we'll see if this is what we stick with <laughs> uh, Anyways, uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a good day and a good week so far I know we're only two days in but uh, either way you never know someone someone could use that little motivation uh, anyways, uh, so as you can see by the uh, by the map, um, we are almost done with the island. I mean, you know, it, it is basically done. Uh, the last time we made a video like this, the entire right side of the island was still being worked on. And uh, as you can see, uh, you know, the terraforming is, is basically done. Uh, I've kind of gotten it where I wanted to in regards to the river, the cliffs, and where I'm going to be putting houses and stuff like that, which I'm going to be showing you. But as you can see by the title of this video, uh, what I wanted to talk about more or less was the uh, the notion of, I guess, what I'm going to be calling designer's block or island designer's block. It's a question that I get a lot on comments and it's a question that I get a lot um, during the live streams. But before we get into it, I'm going to kind of show you what we got going on over here. So for those that aren't able to make the live streams, I, I did get some YouTube comments about showing off this right hand side here. So this little section down here in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, is actually, <laughs> it's actually carved out specifically for me and Lyman, or for Lion and I, I guess, <laughs> to use proper grammar. Uh, Lion and uh, mine houses, Lion and mine, Lion and my houses will be uh, down here in the uh, bottom right hand corner, kind of secluded away from everybody. You know, Lyman's my best friend on the island. Figured I'd go ahead and make a little section for us here. And then... This is actually something that I worked on last night that I'm not going to be uh, committing to, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, there used to be a... Uh, what's it called? There used to be an incline here, but that's actually going to be moved over here now. So if we act like... Da, 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 up the, the stairs here. <laughs> uh, what's up, Flick? Uh, we've now laid down a section of where two houses are going to be, which, you know, they ended up being kind of close together, but that's totally fine. Um... And then we're going to have another incline that goes down here to the museum section. And I wanted to make sure that you could kind of see the rock garden um, from the upper section here when you walk down. So I don't know if I'm going to put like a, another terraformed cliff right here, considering that if there was, you wouldn't be able to see behind it to the rock garden. Uh, but that's totally fine. We'll just uh, we'll just wait and see. That's uh, that's kind of how the whole design process works, really. It's, you know, put something up. See how it goes, and if it doesn't work, then you tear it down. Easy peasy. Um, but that design process here in particular is what I wanted to uh, to talk about in regards to uh, what happens when you run into a block. What happens when you you have these moments of... I'm surprised I got that. <laughs> you have these, these flashes of inspiration. Maybe you see something on Pinterest or Instagram, and you want to do something similar... Uh, and you open up your island, you open up your game to try and get something going, and then, you know, all's off the rails, everything just stops, and you, what you thought you had in regards to, um, to an idea is now gone. Um, so I'll use this area as an example here really quick before I head to Nook's, uh, I was gonna say Nook's Cranny, the Resident Services Center to grab another incline. As you can see, we have another incline getting ready to go up here. Uh, again, I always try to keep the flow of traffic in mind. Um, so before, this section was supposed to be a gigantic, a gigantic lake. Uh, I was going to have like a, a pier that would jut out from right about down here, and then it would turn into this gigantic lake section, and then my house would be up here, and you can kind of see the silhouette of it. Um, and that was plan A. As you can see, plan A has completely deteriorated, and now it has turned into... A little section where Dobie's house now is, which may or may not continue to be Dobie's house. Uh, I still haven't decided whether or not Dobie is going to be like a permanent villager on the island. Um, but this ended up being a spot where one of the villagers' houses went to because I really needed one. 
and then you know it led to other villagers houses so let's head to resident services and let's talk about why that changed the reason why that changed is because you know as i was doing the designing and terraforming of that particular section as we were doing it i realized that it wasn't really something that i you know fell in love with we tried it and i certainly committed my best to try and making it work but uh, it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. It, it didn't feel that great to have a gigantic lake section like that. And even though I, I can understand why it would look great on some islands and stuff, the design of my island up until that point, uh, when, I, when I look at it, and when I looked at it afterwards, didn't really fit with the rest of the island. Which is weird considering I'm going for this, you know, kind of more natural aesthetic for the island as well. And so the fact that a gigantic lake didn't work, um, you know, it's one of those things where you have to really try things out and not be afraid to to tear things down and put things back up again. Um, you know, I get questions a lot all the time on, on how I go through this whole process without it being so tedious, and the answer to that is, um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, this whole process is tedious, unfortunately. It, it's got a natural tediousness to it when you're constantly terraforming and watching the animation of things going up and then tearing things down, or digging holes and filling them back up again. And the thing with designer's block is you kind of have to just like be willing to, as I mentioned before, you kind of have to just be willing to try things out and then get rid of them if they don't work and be totally okay with that process. And if you're not, then, you know, I would highly recommend that you kind of take a step back from terraforming and stuff because that's, this is going to be a topic for, uh, probably the next Animal Crossing and Chill video, but it's the fastest way to experience, um, you know, essentially Animal Crossing burnout, or, or in this instance, New Horizons burnout. Um, so not every, not every idea is going to be a winner. Um, and so like for this one in, in like... As an example, I already kind of like how it looks. I know that a lot of people put the natural ramp kind of, uh, they kind of put it inside of a cliff. And in this instance, I'm kind of, it, it is kind of inside of a cliff, but then it's also like against a river. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take a picture of it, like so. Need to rethink it. And then head back to resident services, grab another incline that I think will work. And then take a picture of that and then kind of compare the two. We do this a lot on the stream. But it's one of the it's one of those things where you have to be okay with, like I said, not being okay with stuff. Um, you know, the last thing that I I would want is to put an incline up and then have to tear it down because I realized I didn't like it. And you know, there are a lot of people that actually don't know that you can do this when you grab an incline or or a house kit to move it and stuff like that. You don't actually have to commit to placing it down anywhere. Uh, if you talk to uh, Tom Nook again and talk to him about the thing that you're trying to do first, uh, he can actually ask you if you want to stop doing it. Uh, so in this instance, let's not build it, and let's go for another ramp instead. Uh, so as you can see on the right-hand side, like I mentioned before, there was already an incline that I took down because I realized that I didn't, uh, I needed more room for what exactly it is that I wanted to do. And I was totally okay with that because at the end of the day, you know, it's something that I know is going to look better um, somewhere else. Okay, cool. So we'll put the log staircase up. So these are pretty much the two staircases that I've been using um, exclusively on the island, the log staircase and the natural ramp. Um, just, uh, it depends on the area that it's in. I think in this area, the natural ramp might look better, but you never know. But you never know. And that's the reason why I forgot that I could use this. <laughs> I haven't decided whether or not I'd want to block that off yet, but... Alright. So I, I have a feeling the, the natural ramp is going to look better. That actually doesn't look too bad. Um... Here we go again. We're going to capture it. We're going to go to our album. We're going to take a look at it. Alright, so here's the natural ramp. Or no, here's the log staircase, and here's the natural ramp. Um... Looking at the two, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I think in this instance they both kind of work where they're currently, uh, where it currently is. Um, my natural instinct is to go for the log staircase because of the fact that it's kind of like where I've been, where how I've been 
like using inclines on the islands thus far. Um, I think I think in this instance we'll go log staircase. We'll kind of stick with the log staircase and see how that works. And then if I end up not liking it, then you know, there you go. So we'll use the log staircase here. Cool, cool, cool. Like I said, I, I like to keep the flow of traffic in mind. And so I want to make sure that, that you're able to maneuver from one area to the island to the next without having to go through this like really, really long uh, workaround process. I do not have enough money for this. That's okay. I'll give you whatever I can right now. All right. Trying not to detract too much from the topic at hand here, but uh, yeah. So I use Pinterest a lot lately to get ideas and see what people are doing because the way that people terraform and stuff, you know, this game has been out now for, uh, what is it, six months now? Um, seven months now, actually. It's been out for seven months, and, you know, there's so many different ideas and stuff. There's so many different ways that people have, have done their islands that, you know, it, it, there's probably a way to terraform in regards to cliffs or rivers that you just haven't seen yet. So I would highly recommend, uh, if you're going through some sort of block, that you utilize some sort of social media platform in order to uh, get some inspiration and some ideas as to how to do your island because, you know, you might have this idea in your mind of what exactly it is that you want to do, but because you don't know how to execute it, it comes out either, it comes out bad, or you end up trying it and then hating it, and, you know, it's like... I, I, I think you could avoid that if you at least had some sort of like way to essentially, I guess, try it on first. If you can see it on someone else's island, which I know that like it would be kind of specific. You'd have to look up something really, really kind of niche like um, niche niche. You have to look up something uh, niche like cliff with waterfall and lighthouse on. You know what I mean? Like it, you probably won't find a specific result like that. Um, but if you just search up, like, AC and H designs and stuff like that, I'm still short. I can't believe it. I didn't even pay attention to see how much he needed left. Um, but if you at least get some, you know, get a general idea of what it is that you're trying to accomplish, you might see whether or not it actually looks as well as you, as you thought it would, go, uh, on your own island. And then who knows, maybe this whole, like, looking at stuff to try and find inspiration can end up leading you down a different path in regards to uh, a way of designing that you never even thought about before. So, um, another tip that I would give really is, you know, take a break. Take a break. And this again goes into the topic of, of burnout, which, like I said, I'll talk about in a future video, probably soon. Um, but you have to give your, your creative, your creative juices, uh, you know, Sometimes you use them all in a day, and did the lights just go out in resident services? Do they do that? Wait a minute. Do they do that? Do the lights go out? Anyways, um, give yourself a break. Really. You have to give yourself a break. When If you're as obsessed with making your island look as pretty as I am with mine, <laughs> then sometimes you just have to take a break and give yourself a, like a mental rest. Otherwise, you're going to make decisions um, that you know, may or may not end up panning out. More often than not, they don't pan out as well as you thought they would. And this, you know, this kind of extends to, like, real life as well. You know, you never want to make decisions when you're tired. Uh, you never want to make decisions when you are not 100% there. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, give yourself a break. Take a break. You know, browse online for inspiration once again. And that's pretty much it. Um... So yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say in regards to it. I, I, I don't feel like I'm the best person to talk about this kind of stuff, honestly. And the fact that a lot of people ask me all the time about how to get over a designer's block and how to get better at terraforming and stuff, don't get me wrong, I feel incredibly honored, but I will never feel like I am uh, I'm qualified, I guess, is, is what I'm looking for. I never feel like I'm qualified to answer those types of questions. Just because I don't feel like the terraforming that I've done on my island is that crazy. Um, let me see. So I know that I can move one more house, and I think in this instance, I want to go ahead and move my house. I want to go ahead and get that, that process started, so... Let's go and move my house to that little section that I've kind of blocked off for where I'm going to be... Uh, placed next to Lyman, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, those are just kind of a couple of things. I know that they weren't really that in-depth. 
but it's just, you know, a couple of the things that I've done myself to get the island looking to where it is now, and I think, you know, we've gotten to a point where the island is terraformed about as well as I want it to. Obviously, things can change. They always do. But for now, um, you know, this is where we are. And I'm in the wrong section. Alright, let's go to about my home. I want to relocate. And I don't have any money. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting that things cost money. Services cost money. My goodness. All right. I apologize that I detracted a little bit there, kind of in the middle. I know that it took me a while to kind of like, uh, I guess, get to the point. Um, I hope you guys are kind of unfortunately used to that by now when it comes to these Animal Crossing and Chill videos. <laughs> 437. But yeah, I kind of wanted to, uh, I guess, get back to form a little bit. Uh, you know, like I said, or like I said, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't say this before. Um, it's been a while since I posted one of these, and the reason that that usually happens is when I make these videos, I sometimes don't have anything to say or I don't know what to say, and so I don't ever record. And I know that people have told me in the past, you know, we, <laughs> we could literally listen to you just read the B script, B movie script, and be totally fine with it. <laughs> You'll just have to bear with me, you know. I know that we've been doing this now for a few months, and I'm still not used to it. I don't know how people can get used to it. Um, but for me, yeah, I'm just not used to, I guess, people giving me a pass to, to, to just record whatever and then put it out there. So you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, I apologize for detracting about halfway through. I know it took me a while to get to the point. Um, but I think we ended up getting there, and if not then, uh, you know, we'll work on it. <laughs> All right. Once I place this house down, I'll kind of give you guys a, a more of a fuller island tour here to kind of give you guys an idea of what we got going on. Actually, if I place this down, will it... It should just go ahead and remove that rock, correct? Let's see. Awesome. Perfect. Let's do it. Finally off the beach. I mean, we're not that far from the beach, but we're finally off it at least. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's do a quick walk around here before I let you guys go for this video. And um, yeah. So starting from the entrance as always, uh, not much has changed here. This is all pretty much the same. I've started doing this thing where I've kind of, uh, uh, you know, dug up a flower and then put a dirt patch under it. Um, for the aesthetic of it. I know it's going to kind of look like, I guess, what I'm going to describe as pimples on the map. You know, you have these like random dots on the map all over the place. But I think it'll add to the aesthetic a little bit. Have something underneath the flowers to give it some sort of, uh, you know, at, at least a, a further design for the flowers on the island. Um, campsite. You know, hasn't changed at all. Come up here. Not sure how many more of these pumpkin designs and stuff I'm going to be utilizing on the island um, for the Halloween season. I know I need to do a little bit more in regards to decorating, but otherwise, uh, you know, not really know what else I'm going to do in that regard. Uh, stargazing area, finally complete. I mean, not much needed to be done there anyway, but it's done. Diana's house. Bo's house. Come around here. I guess I can use this as an example of the design process as well. So before, you know, oops, <laughs> before I had the path going all the way around, uh, bleh, all the way around and kind of like bobbing and weaving, and then it would come down to this incline here. What I think I'm going to do actually is I, you know, instead of forcing myself to try and think of how to design this little corner space here for the little pirate cove, I think I'm actually going to make this the part where the incline happens and then uh, this incline will be removed completely, and then we will just make another cliff section here, and then maybe we can put another incline up here, and maybe I can turn this into another stargazing area, or just move the stargazing area completely. Like I said, it's one of those things you have to be comfortable with moving things around and getting rid of stuff and changing things, which is going to elongate your process of, uh, of designing your island, but at the end of the day, you know, you might get a more fuller 
uh, island design than you originally anticipated. So we're gonna remove this for now. I know that I can put a cliff up here, but uh, for me, when I'm doing the island designing, it's easier for me to visualize where things are going to go if I don't have things that uh, look like they should be anticipating something else instead. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing here. I'll probably be doing that later on the stream today. Um, for those that don't know, I will be streaming later on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, yeah, so that's what happened with this section here. I started to remove a lot of the trees that were blocking and obscuring some of the views of different areas of the island that we've made thus far. And then come down here, and you've already kind of seen me uh, walk around this section already in this video. It was kind of like the highlight of this video, but um, we've now enclosed this section to be a little bit of just like a park garden area, which I think is really, really nice. And then, of course, you have a little fishing spot here. And you come across our new small bridge. This is something we did on the stream, which I absolutely love. I did not realize bridges could be this tiny. And uh, when we made it by accident, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> and then, of course, we just have like a like a residence area here, just like on the left hand side. So, yep, that's what we got going on here, folks. Um, you know, I hope that my insight to what I do whenever I get some sort of block was at least somewhat helpful to somebody. If not, then I hope you guys just enjoyed me rambling on for 20 minutes here. <laughs> like I always do. Um, but I, you know, it, I'm curious. I, I, it's it's going to be interesting to see where this series goes whenever we're done terraforming the island. That's another video that I'm going to be, uh, you know, do doing sometime in the near future. Kind of like the future of Animal Crossing and Chill, but for now, the Chill series is is more or less showing you guys the progress of the island as we move along, as well as talk about topics and things that I've I've learned along the way, I guess. Otherwise, that'll do it for me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the series, please be sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. It always, always, always helps. And if you are new to the series, oops, message in a bottle. If you're new to the series and want to see more Animal Crossing and Chill series videos in your feed in the future, by all means, be sure to subscribe. We are right on our way to 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I'm, I, I would be surprised if I didn't know that already. <laughs> yeah, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on. Really, really awesome. If you guys did that. Anyways, I'm going to head out for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little mini island tour, I guess. As well as uh, the conversation regarding Designer's Block. Appreciate it very much. Hope you guys have a safe and wonderful Tuesday. And until next time, uh, have a great day. I'll see you later. <laughs>